Good morning. I'm Randy with the Champaign Air Museum. Today we're going to talk about the uh, multiple disc rotor brakes on the uh, B-25 North American airplane. Uh, kind of neat. Gives you a good picture here in the manual. And I'm going to point at one piece that you won't be able to see with the brake assembled, and that's the piston. These are a hydraulic actuated brake and uh, we'll go over towards the airplane. How they function is <clears throat> this hydraulic line comes in the back, it'll pressurize that piston and it'll squeeze these together. Now I've got them readjusted so that they're in the running clearance. These attach to the wheel, we'll go over and look at the wheel, <clears throat> and then this stator, the silver ones in between, actually attach to the inside of the uh, casting of the brake housing itself. So this doesn't turn, it stays with the airplane. And then these are in constant rotation with the wheel. So as you apply pressure, these are what are giving you the flat spots on the tires. <laughs> so inside the wheel, <clears throat> we have the, the uh, grooves that those fingers ride in. And uh, each one of these, it's a lot of fun when you go to put this back on, you've got to uh, hit the idea of the bearing, but also you have to hit each one of those locations for those uh, discs and line it up and get it all the way in. Otherwise, you can't put the uh, the nut on. You can't get the right torque on it. You'll be binding a brake. So it's been a lot of fun over the years of getting it down to a science of how to lock that brake and, uh, and install it with a wheel and, and all. So... That's uh, in a nutshell how you, how you stop a B-25.